Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog channel. I feel like it's been a very long time since I've vlogged or uploaded on my vlog channel. I am actually on my way right now to Tijuana because I have my uh, surgery tomorrow early as fuck in the morning i i don't know exact details because i've been super busy at work recently so that's why i feel like i haven't been uploading on youtube because i've been prepping for this surgery i am going to uh dr campos it's um lotus med group on instagram so if you guys want to check out his work uh i do have some friends that have gone to him and he is a, a reputable doctor so i'm excited for him to work on me so i originally started my bbl journey at 118 pounds last year in October and um, I pretty much just dedicated the year of 2020 to gain weight because I am a skinny girl and for those of you guys who are skinny and struggle to gain weight trust me like I know your struggle like it is so difficult to gain weight and especially with me since I do have a metaphobia um, it can be even harder to gain weight i'm gonna be updating you guys about that in in a later video i'm gonna do a dedicated video talking about how i gained weight and my struggles with emetophobia and how i've been coping with it and how i've been doing self-therapy and things like that but i feel like i'm in a very very good place right now i'm at 131 pounds um a few days ago i was at 133 pounds but since i've been super busy with my life um and work i feel like when i stress out and i'm drinking a lot of coffee i don't eat as much as i should like whenever i'm happy and relaxing and not like having anxiety or stress or depression i do eat a lot so that's what i've been doing i'm a little nervous but if anything i'm more excited because you guys know how long i've been prepping for this surgery and i didn't want to like only gain five pounds and call it a day like i, I really want to love my results and i'm also really happy that i've built a relationship with food again and i am indulging and i love food and i'm not scared anymore i'm not scared to eat it's it's been a long time since I've gotten a surgery done. Well, actually, I got my vagina done, but it was something minor. Like, that's not, like, you know, full-on lipo or body sculpting. So, I did book a recovery home. So, that's where I will be staying for about a week. Um, I do want to stay in Tijuana because I need to get my uh, lymphatic drainage massages for after you get your surgery done to avoid lumps, bumps, and also to get all that extra fluid. So, you're super-duper extra snatched. I will update you guys when I get to the recovery home. And yes, we just arrived to Tijuana right now, so we're gonna try to find the recovery home. But Emmanuel just took a wrong turn right now, so how far do you think it is? So, quick story time I just recently found out that Emmanuel used to have a chihuahua and his name was TJ. And I thought that that was the cutest thing ever because I love chihuahuas. So if you guys have um, chihuahuas as pets, please send me pictures. I'd love to see your chihuahuas because I think they're like the cutest dogs ever. We arrived to the recovery home. Whoa, there's a lot of rocks. But supposedly that she said she didn't get the deposit. So we're kind of having some technical difficulties. Damn. Sorry, we're literally off road. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Hello? Hi there. Hi. You just have the guard let you in. Yes, it is the one. You found it, babe? Yeah, it's here. Oh my, babe, why were we going crazy? Oh no. He's over here eating ramen. <laughs> is that the hole or what? No. You're lying, babe. You're a noodle fiend. Oh my god, you guys. So I'm going to give you guys an update because it's been a hectic hour and a half because my assistant who had booked everything she thought that we were going to stay at a hotel tonight and not at the recovery home so she booked our stay at the recovery home for the 17th and today is the 15th and tomorrow's my surgery on the 16th so um 
the place, the recovery home that I'm going to stay at, it's kind of confusing, the place that I'm going to stay at was completely booked because they still have patients there that have to like be sent home and check out in order for us to check in. So we're going to stay here for tonight. This is just like a random house and they're like, oh my God, we're so sorry you're going to have to stay here. But I'm just thankful. I was like, I'm so sorry for the confusion because I'm just happy that we have somewhere to stay tonight. Um which is fine, I don't really care staying here or whatever. Um, I'm just gonna eat, relax, go to sleep. And the um, lady from the recovery home that I was literally at earlier before I got here, she's gonna be taking me to my surgery tomorrow at 6.30. She's picking me up at 6.30 a.m. And then we're gonna head to my surgery. And then, <clears throat> supposedly that I'm gonna be staying there overnight, so that's cool. So this is what the room looks like and you guys i'm like super asquerosa so i'm like these cobijas other people have been laying here with like cola juice and sangre coming out of their butts from other women recovering here so i'm just kind of like i need to force myself to relax well we brought cobijas no I brought a cobija, yeah, but I should have brought my own sabanas. I just didn't want to be like that, you know, like no seas así. But, dude, the girl looked so like stressed out, huh? She did. Like she was just like, oh my god, just trying to make it work. It's our fault though. It's not her fault. I'm just glad we're laying down. I know, it's been a crazy like day for us. We came to this restaurant that's right next to the place, so um, she was like, oh yeah, there's pizza there, you guys can go and grab some pizza. I go and it's closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, so love that, right? Like, love that everything's going completely wrong. And earlier I got so mad at Emmanuel, so I didn't even get to film that. I was like, wow, I don't want to vlog anymore, I don't want to do nothing anymore because he fucking pisses me off. But um, we're just going to eat some tacos right here. I'm gonna get some tacos and some and a quesadilla and it says that my last meal should be at 8 o'clock and it's 7 o'clock right now after 8 o'clock uh, I can't have nothing else until tomorrow it's still fairly early and I should have brought like melatonin gummies for me to be able to fall asleep because I feel like I'm not gonna be able to fall asleep I brought my booty pillow and then I brought this little urinal thing like for females when they go camping. Let me show you guys, it's so funny. So my friend actually told me um, that I needed this, so I don't know. Who knows if I'll need it, right? I don't know. But I have that. And then I also got compression socks to help with the, the uh, blood clots. So I bought a pack of those. I bought all this stuff on Amazon, you guys. And then over here I just brought some makeup wipes because I was wearing makeup earlier. I brought my cleanser. Some shampoo, just like skincare, a brush, some toothpaste. How cute my mom gave me this little rezo for me to say like before I go into surgery. She's like, esta bendita lo lees antes de que entres a la cirugía. It's called oración al señor del amparo. That's funny because my grandma from Mexico was always like, ay, el señor del amparo. She always says that. I have to get my blood work done, so I probably won't go into like 11 or 12, probably, huh? But I feel a little bit nervous, but not like super nervous. I feel like I'm gonna feel super nervous when I'm like there at the location. But I didn't even bring clothes. I just have, I just have this look. I just have my, my donut shorts. So I should just wear my pink sweater, huh? With my chunk glass, huh? Yeah, it's just... They're gonna put you in a robe right away. That's true. I didn't show you guys the room from yesterday. Over here. No, I know, but I want to show them the backyard. Well, yeah. The balcony. This is where we were at. It smells... It smells good. It smells like very um, beachy. All oh, the little birds. This 
This is nice, huh? So the lady came to pick me up right now, so we're about to head out. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna end up staying at Diamond Recovery, and it's really cool because it's upstairs, and then they also do the massages upstairs. Like, it's it's crazy because when I got here, like, I thought it was gonna be separate buildings, but it's cool because now they have a new building, and they do everything for you. So right now, I'm gonna get my blood work done, and they're gonna test me for COVID. This is so pretty. Okay, so this is the recovery home that I'm gonna be staying at. You guys, I haven't updated you, but... There's been like so much drama about my recovery home that I'm going to be staying at. But I just decided to stay here because it's nicer and there's actual nurses here. Son nada más dos? Yes. Estas son para relajarte. Y esta es para dolor. Doctor some pills to relax so oh my god I need it oh my god I need to do my rezo I need to do my little rezo that my mom gave me yesterday she said before you go in you say your rezo scared of to be honest is obviously the pain but um more uh that i don't want to throw up <laughs> that's what it's like you guys having emetophobia is that you're always constantly thinking about oh my god i don't want to throw up okay i'm gonna need help with these medias i'm facetiming my mom um you know i already did the rezo that you told me yeah, but I didn't understand it. <laughs> it's really complicated Spanish words. Can you explain it? <laughs> you guys, my mom broke her tooth. So like she doesn't want to show her tooth. Se me había olvidado. You guys, I'm in my room now. It seems like there's like so many steps for you to like get to the surgery, and I feel like the closer I get, I feel like I'm starting to get more nervous. That's why I keep calling all my friends. Like I'm just facetiming everyone. Um, I'm gonna end up removing a little bit of my fat from my legs. Um. You guys know that I do weight train, so I don't have trouble with like growing my legs and I don't really like having a lot of fat on my legs, to be honest. Um, so we're going to move some of that into my hips and my butt. I just want to make sure that my fat stays, you know, and I, I just want to have the result that I want. But oh my god, y'all, I'm fucking scared. 
He said that the surgery is like three to four hours. That's low key a long time. Low key as fuck. When I'm bored on Instagram, I like to go in my saved pictures. And I save a lot of like nail inspo or just stuff that I find. I save it and I take inspo for looks. Super cute. Waist on snatched. This is what I'm trying to look like. Despierta. Sí. La grabo de aquí. Jenny, you're out. Yeah. I felt like that. I was awake the whole time. You were? I felt like that, yeah. You're probably just waking up here and there. So, they see you, you can see my body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you guys that I'm out of surgery but I've been here just like sleeping and um, I was in a little bit of pain like the top of my butt was hurting so I had to keep telling them to put medicine because I couldn't sleep and I was getting this is bad because I couldn't sleep and right now I'm, I'm like needing to pee but they have a catheter in my vagina, so they said that it can pee and then it'll flow in a bag. But I just feel weird peeing. Like, but she's like, no, it's fine, like, just pee, so. I'm gonna sit to that. I felt like I was falling asleep but I don't feel like shit like I don't feel horrible I just feel a little pain on my hips and I still haven't seen what I look like like I want to see but I can't I'm like holy hala so they told me that I'd be able to see my body later I'm excited for that. Right now it is like 6 a.m. And the nurse just came in to help me shower. Um, it was so hard. Like, um, she woke me up at 5 in the morning. And um, she came in here and I, I had so much like blood and 
drainage fluid on the bed and I was so sticky from that brown stuff that they put before surgery and it smells weird um so the first time I got up it was so difficult for me to get up like I just wanted to cry and I'm just like why did I do this to myself like what the fuck and then um I got up and she helped me take off my faja she helped me take a shower it was literally just like a light shower like un it like quick um and it went good I did drink an apple juice to like help me get my sugar up and give me a little bit of something for energy because I haven't eaten at all since it's been like two days so I'm hungry I want to eat something I'm craving like oatmeal with like pumpkin seeds I really want to eat like superfoods that are going to help pick me up and boost my immune system but overall I feel like I don't feel any pain to be honest like I haven't felt any pain the only time I felt pain was when I took off my faja and then I saw what my body looked like and I'm just like all bruised up and like there's blood and shit so that's what freaks me out they brought me breakfast and I'm in a, I'm so hungry so I'm happy. Room two. Gracias. Okay. They leave me this little button thing for whenever I want something, they'll bring it to me. Like water, juice. They brought my food already and it's like a little teriyaki moment with rice, soy sauce, shrimp, and chicken with veggies. And this salsa is bomb, it's like a cilantro kind of vibe. This is so good, you guys. I'm literally starving right now. Oh my gosh, and I'm excited to see Emmanuel. You guys, my boobush came to visit me. And he brought me some stuff that he needed. I brought you Tampax. Tampax Pearl, love Super that. Plus. I brought you two types of earplugs. Migas, goodie. Goodies. Masa goodie. Don't make me laugh. These chips I tried yesterday, they're fire. My boobush brought me those. Yeah. And then my mom brought you lunche. Mmm, suegra food. Oh my god, how cute she did that. That's nice of her. Okay. Oh, 
Hace rato yo me podía levantar yo solita. They just brought me a snack and some food. I think this is atun or like a chicken salad, but these are bomb. Um, they're slices of apples with the peanut butter and some walnuts. I just got done with my massage, you guys, and I was so scared because I've seen lots of videos about um, the massages like being the worst part of the surgery but honestly like it wasn't bad at all so i just i just got done with it and then i took a shower i washed my whole body like this is the first time that i actually got to like really like deep shower i didn't wash my hair though but i feel so fresh so clean um and i haven't felt lightheaded well earlier i felt lightheaded but it was because of my um the pain meds but right now um i have one of the nurses helping me put on the faja again so i'm facetiming emmanuel as i eat my dinner they brought me nopales with rice but i wish they would have given me more rice because i don't have any more and aguacate and some grapes i just finished it and then the juices are always good because they're like aguas so they've been serving me agua con piña or agua de piña sorry and then this one's like i think pepino con piña i think so the food's pretty good, good. yes i just need more rice social That's distancing good. be like No, I haven't eaten it. Today is Monday, July 20th. And I decided last night to go home today because I just want to be at home. I miss Manny. I miss Emmanuel. I miss my family. I miss everyone who starts crying. <laughs> but um, I showered. I got my last massage. I already booked um, someone that they recommended for me to get massages out there. And they brought me my last meal. And... They brought um, fettuccine alfredo, so I'm so hyped about this, and I think that's horchata. So you guys know fettuccine alfredo is like my favorite food ever of life. So I'm about to eat this because Emmanuel is outside. He's actually already waiting for me. I it just it's a process to shower, um, get the massage or whatever because I just start to get really lightheaded and I get like woozy or whatever. So my shower is only like 30 seconds. One step closer to recovery. Okay. Look at how my mom did the ends of these braids. <laughs> and I was like, it's because then they're out of the way more. Yeah, they are. You know? Like, it feels very beach vibes. Yeah. Yeah. So, how do they take out the drain? I don't know. Okay, so this is actually the first time that I see myself in a calzón. Um, since I did just get my massage, I don't have my faja on. So I was like, you know what? Let me just show them my body so you guys are able to see. So just like a little side note, um, I am very bruised up. So don't let it freak you out. Um, and then I also did get my drain removed today. So I feel like a new bitch. Okay, ready? The big reveal. Three, two, one. Oh my god, you guys, this is what I look like. Um, I am a week and one day post op. This feels so crazy to see myself in an underwear because this is my first time like seeing myself in an underwear. This is the first time I put on an underwear. So this is what I look like. Um, I really, really wanted um, wide hips. So that's what I made sure to tell him that I wanted white hips. I also got lipo on my inner thighs. So I'm pretty beat up. But my bruises actually look better now because they were worse. So see, um, I got lipo on my inner thighs, not down here. But the thing is, when you get lipo, you also bruise like even farther. So I think the lowest he went was like right here because this is where the pain starts. 
and this is what the back looks like. Yes! Come on, ass! Hey! <laughs> I cannot believe this is my body. I need to stop fucking around and get back into my faja, you guys, because you have to make sure that you're living in your faja. So I'm gonna go out to Tijuana again on Tuesday for him to like check me out, make sure everything's like good or whatever, but I don't know how much percentage is going to disappear obviously i know that i'm still swollen a bit and it's gonna go down but i just really hope that i stay looking like this because dude body is snatched sorry my hair is a mess but i have been wanting to um do the ending to this vlog because it's just been a super crazy two weeks today marks two weeks since i've gotten my surgery um and i just really wanted to get my vlog out there for you guys because i'm constantly getting dms and messages about who my doctor is and they just wanted for me to upload my vlog so yeah that completes today's video you guys <laughs> don't mind man you guys have it puppy um if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel please be sure to subscribe um you guys can go ahead and turn on your post notifications so that way you guys are notified it's the little bell down below so whenever i upload a brand new video you guys are notified um and yeah that completes today's video i will go ahead and update you guys later i just really want to finish recovering but i already stopped taking my antibiotics and everything so everything has been going really really <laughs> He always wants to put this in my mouth, dude. Like, he thinks it's like a bottle or something. Do <laughs> puppy. You eat it. Alright, you guys. I love you all so much. And I will see you all in my next video.